Kia ora everyone, hello, it's springtime in full swing and this is my jungle and I wanted to share some nuts and some of the harvest that is coming from that garden. So there's basically two things that I'm doing today. Uh, I haven't been in for a while and hence the beautiful chaos that is happening and unfolding here. Um, but I'm going through two things and first of them is I'm going through and harvesting heaps of different things and uh, part of the harvesting strategy is to create pathways in this jungle. Uh, so as I go along I'll harvest uh, some of the things. So for example there is broad beans which there's heaps of still out there in the back um, but I've chopped a few down and harvested the broad beans and uh, I'll throw those down, chuck those down, and that becomes uh, the pathway. Right, so the majority of the harvest coming from the garden at this stage is heaps of leafy green veggies. Uh, so there's silver beet and all kinds of different kinds of lettuce. And I wanted to point out to everyone that uh, all of the silver beet that I'm harvesting is self-sown, so I did not plant or sow those. Uh, all of the lettuce that I'm pulling out of this garden is self-sown and I did not um, plant or harvest them, uh, um, plant or seed them. And some of the other plants are some of the perennials that I'm working with. So for example, your red leaves, a broad leaf plantain, and your red veined sorrel. So this basically means that uh, uh, this jungle is uh, with an intention, an intention of doing very little work and harvesting heaps of veggies, as you just saw. Um, a lot of the plants, I let them go to seed. So for example, here's uh, kale that's going to flower and seed. And by doing that, and working with perennials on the side, there's very little effort and input from my side. It's important not to get me wrong. I'm not saying that I don't plant or sow anything in this garden anymore. A lot of these broad beans behind me are actually sown. I put them in in the autumn time. Not all of them. There's a few random ones here around the garden that have been coming up and that I've been harvesting as well. And there's other plants that I keep introducing. So I'll make space, clear space, by chop and dropping and then add other plants. I keep adding diversity and complexity. So I do add plants. I do sow things. But the majority at this stage, after two years of growing, is either self-sown or is a perennial plant. And as you can just see, there's heaps of harvest in the middle of spring. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and coming along to my wee little jungle. Uh, I hope some of this uh, might be inspiring to you and maybe springtime is offering you heaps of abundance uh, where you're at. And for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time again.